welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, what you will have no doubt determined from rude what you will have no doubt determined from the thumbnail, the title, and if you have read it, the description Slush from September Rose has a baby sister This is the highly anticipated Slush 2 And I have used this to create this, let's face it Beautiful, beautiful summary look. So, if you want to find out exactly what the inside of this looks like, how well this blended, and what exactly this new lipstick is, Then you're in precisely the right place, my friend. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Oh, die, 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 die. It's so hot in my kitchen, by the way. I, if my brain wanders off in very different directions, that is why. Right, uh, my face is washed, moisturised, SPF and primed, which is why I'm a little bit shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, but I think today I might actually do my non-foundation, where I do my eyes and then I just use concealer on the dark circles and then bronzer and blush etc as normal, but just not put a foundation on because... It is ridiculously hot, and I'm just going to sweat the foundation straight off, even with my antiperspirant primer. It's that horrible, humid heat, you know, where you just... <sighs> anyway, this is not about the temperature in my kitchen, this is about Slush 2. Now, long-term viewers will know, Slush 1, the reason she's up on my wall, is because she was the first ever code that I had, discount code. Bomber in all caps. Pretty much all, I think all of my discount codes are bomber in all caps, so that it's it's easy to, to work out whether I have one or not. Um, gives you 10% off as soon as your order hits 10 quid. Don't think it applies to sale items, not sure. Never tried it against a sale item, to be honest. Um, so that's why she went up on my wall. And at the time it was non-affiliated, and it was non-affiliated for, getting on for a year, probably. And then Michelle, the lady that runs it, said to me, do you know what, yours is the code that has been used the most. I cannot continue to let you keep driving sales my way and not give you something. So she's now put me on the affiliate program. Will this change how I do my reviews of the makeup? Hell no. No, 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 no. I, I'm a shit liar. If I'm lying, you're going to know. If I like a product, you're going to know. I come in so close if a product doesn't work, you're going to know. So, um, Slush 2 was meant to be out a while ago, but she had issues with production and getting the quality the way she wanted. So in between Slush and Slush 2, she produced the Brew Palette. I have got film up for that, if I remember I'll link it in, in the um, description box. She didn't think I'd be interested in that one because it's a neutral palette, but it's not a boring neutral, it's got fun in it as well. So it's probably the only, when I do my next declutter, it's probably going to be one of the very few neutral palettes that I hold on to. But where she has put me on the affiliate program, she sent me this for free. So I did not pay for this one. Paid for this one. Did not pay for this one. Wanted to make that absolutely upfront with you because you know me. Total transparency. I'm as transparent as a ghost on Halloween. 
told you it was a hot day and my brain was going gaga. Right, let's get you zoomed in. Oh, let's show you the palette first. I haven't shown you the inside. I keep teasing, don't I? And I haven't shown you the inside yet. As with Slush One, lovely mirror. I'm such a cow, aren't I? Look at this. It is 20 rows, 20 shadows rather than 25. Slush One is 25. And this is all matte, but it's the same layout, same colour layout as Slush One. So you've got a pink row, an orange row, white, yellow and green, blues and purples. And this is the perfect accompaniment to Slush One. Have I got Slush One to hand? No, I think I've got it. Yes, but it's under a pile of other palettes, so if I try and get it out, Everything's going to fall over and I'm going to curse, which I don't do on my channel much. So, it's the same layout as the original slush, but it gives you, in many cases, a lot deeper options, which is the one thing for me that was missing from the original slush, um, particularly in the orange row, because I felt that the oranges were, once you got them on your eye and, and got them blended, if you're using them in an editorial way and packing them on you could tell the difference if you're blending them some of the oranges just tended to blend into each other so I'm really glad that we've got some real real deeper options here I mean that bottom row looks stunning well it all looks stunning let's be honest right let's get you zoomed in and as always this is a teaching channel if I'm going too slow for you because of my chronic pain or the fact that I'm teaching, please feel free to use the speed me up button. I won't be offended because, do you know what? I'm not gonna know. Now, I have got deep set eyes, which for, for a long time I thought I had hooded lids because I have the same issues. I have transference of shimmer onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease I can't just cut the socket, I have to go onto the upper lid um, and even using glitter glue I'll get a bare patch right through the middle there. I do not have hooded lids. I have deep set eyes, sometimes referred to as double lidded eyes. Now, when you look ahead with your brows relaxed you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner so I don't have hooded lids. If your upper lid completely covers part or all of your mobile lid right the way down to the lash line then you have a half or a full hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. You can still follow my tutorials. All you need to do get a brush like this or a pencil brush and just sketch out where you need your new crease to fall. Simple as that. Okay. Yes, it's going to reduce the space from your new crease and your brow, so I just use slightly smaller blending brushes than I do. To show you what deep set eyes or double lidded eyes are, if I cover my mobile lid and then close my eye, you can see I've got as much lid again that folds back away that you don't see when the eyes open. If I cover my static lid and close my eye, you can see again a section of the static lid that, that gets folded back in when the mobile lid tucks away. That, my friends, is a deep set eye, not hooded lids. Right, I have got, as usual, my Crow and Pebble cotton, which is the white. You can see I've, I've definitely, I've hit the bottom of the blooming thing. I have actually ordered myself a full pot of this because this was just a sample size pot that I ordered to see if I liked it and it's actually taken over from my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because it's not sticky so you can blend straight away, you don't have to worry about setting it. I don't set my lids anyway but with things like MAC Soft Ochre or if you're using a lipstick you kind of have to pat the colour on and then just blend the edges because otherwise it will stick and it will grab and it won't blend and it will go patchy. You don't get that with this. It's by far the best base I've ever used. Um, 
I have a discount with them, non-affiliated I believe, because they haven't mentioned affiliate, any, any payback from it, so I'm guessing it's non-affiliated. And you'll find that, again, all of my um, discounts are listed very clearly in my description box, and they all state whether I own from them or not. Enough chatting, I want to get some colour on my face. Mm. Right, I'm going to start off by blending, I think, apple cider and blue steel, which are the two deeper, the deepest blue and the deepest green. This is a Morphe M321 brush. I'm just going to start mm. off by popping this on the outer edge. Just building that colour up. I might add a bit more of the blue actually. Yeah, there we go, that's the colour I want. So how's your day been? Has it been a good one? I hope so. Or if you're at the start of your day, then I hope you have a good day. Now, if you've got deep set eyes, just make sure your eyes are open when you do this bit to make sure you can see the green, the greeny blue that I've done. Okay? If you have hooded lids, just follow the new crease line that you set out. I genuinely don't quite know what I'm going to do yet with this look. I'm just... I'm playing, to be honest. Which is what I always do when I get a new palette. I just play. Now, your eyes are not symmetrical. Unless you're James Charles and you Photoshop them that way. So, it's always best when you're doing something like this to make sure you've got a mirror where you can see both your eyes and then you just need to make sure that the shape that you're creating is the same both sides now it could be that the actual shape is different but then when you have your eyes open it matches and that's what's important So I'm just, I'm just tapping this on because I really want, having said you can blend straight away, which you can, but I just, I really want to build this up and get a nice, deep, shade just on the outer edge there. Yes, I like that. I've got a clean microfiber cloth here that I'm using to clean the brush in between. So I'm going to take the colours off of there and I'm going to go back into apple cider, which is the deepest green. But I'm not going to add the blue to it this time. And I'm going to run that through. the inner corner. I love playing with colour and I love the fact that this is an all matte palette because all too often you'll see a colourful palette and there'll be a lot of shimmers in it but fewer mattes, particularly blues, greens and purples because those are some of the most difficult colours to create. And it's much easier to create, don't stretch your lid like I am. I have to do that because I've got super deep creasing here from when my eye was pulled around as a kid at the ophthalmic hospital. Trying to find out why I wasn't seeing properly. Clearly that was before I lost the sight in it. Again, I'm just sitting back and checking that when my eyes open, you can still see the colour and that the shapes that I've created look the same. Um, 
we are just it's it's really great to see and I mean long term viewers know I love my UK indie brands I've really been getting into them recently they seem to have a much firmer grasp on what the public are looking for um, so I need to wiggle for a minute hang on Sorry about that, sudden pain splurge right up my spine. I may cut that out, may not, depends whether I remember, to be quite honest. Right, I think I'm going to go in with a slightly different brush now. In my description box I have got um, a film where I recommend different brushes. And I'm going to go in with one of the AliExpress brushes that I recommend. This is the Contour Brush 9. And I'm going to go into Lemon Mint, which is the, the other green in the palette. And I'm just going to very gently buff this along the edge. Because of the creasing I've got here, I might need to pat it on and then buff it actually. Yeah, that's working better. So, as I said, how's your day been? Has it been a good one? What have you been up to today? Have you wore makeup today? What did you do? Which palettes did you use? Tell me, talk to me! I feel like I'm chatting away to my friend on the other side of the kitchen table and then when I get to read the comments section I get to actually see what you're saying back to me, which is really nice. I like to try and leave sort of three or four mils between the top colour and the top of my brow. Just so that when I put the brow highlight on it really gives it some oomph. Sometimes when I'm doing editorial looks I don't do that. I'm just going to see if I can blend these two. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the lemon mint with a little bit of the apple cider. I'm just going to really lightly buff where those two colours meet because I want to keep the defined point that I'd created but I just want to just blend it a little bit more into the green above it. Yes, I like that. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing over on this side. This is something that I, I do as a matter of course because I used to absolutely hate when I was first getting into makeup following a tutorial and they'd do one eye and then do the other eye off camera or they'd speed the blending up and you I mean I, I don't know about you but I tend to watch YouTube on my phone when I'm getting ready in the mornings and I'd have to keep pausing it and then my screen lock would come on and so I would much rather do a longer film so beginners can keep up with me and then more expert people can just speed me up basically as I said, I won't be offended because unless you tell me, I'm not even going to know. But yeah, I, I got into using indie brands a lot last year. Um, because I just found that they had more interesting offerings in terms of the palettes that were being released. They weren't releasing a colour palette. like I mean, the Norvina palette with the ABH ball out. I was so excited when I first saw it, or saw the the ads for it, because I thought Norvina loves purple, she's wearing a, a lilac dress in the thing, and it's lilac packaging, so I was really expecting lots and lots of purples in there, and in actuality it was just, there were what, three purples, if that, in a 14 shadow palette, and I just got so frustrated with the bigger companies always having to put a brown in their palette. Why? You don't need to use brown as a transition shade. You can use any colour 
as a transition shade. Um, just because the big beauty gurus always use a brown doesn't mean you have to. I mean, you can see I've used greens and blues for my transition shade. Um, so I, I really got into sort of checking out indie brands, particularly UK indie brands. I really wanted to um, support them. The first indie brand I got into was OMG, Oh My Glitter, Robin. Um, and she actually named a um, I bugged her and bugged her and bugged her to do a lipstick that was um, purple with some silver reflect in it. So she did, and she called it Bombalicious after me, which I thought was awesome. Um, and she's continued to grow, and I've got loads and loads of her palettes now, and loads of her lippies. Um, absolutely love her stuff. And then I discovered. I think it was September, yeah, it was September Rose I discovered next, and it was, no, it was Blush Tribe I discovered next, I discovered their um, psychedelic palette, which is nowhere near as good quality as the stuff they produce now, that one I think was um, a private label one just to get them off the ground sort of thing, so they could start their own formulas. You can see I'm literally just really lightly buffing along the edges to get the blend that I want on those shades. I'm going to clean this off while I'm still chatting. Yeah, then I discovered Blush Tribe, um, and then I discovered Certify, which is the sister of the woman who runs Blush Tribe. And I absolutely love the products that they do. In fact, if I had to choose my favourite palette, most people would assume it would be a Jeffree Star. It's not, it's the Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe because it's blue and it's purple and it's green and those are my favourite shades so you know but you know coming up close second is the slush the original slush but I can see this one fighting for its place in the top five I think right I'm gonna go into the blue mojito on um, the same brush the contour brush nine I'm just going to pop this on sort of the middle section of the lid. I don't want it to be packed on like you would a shimmer. I'm just going to get a little mirror so I can look down into it so that you can still see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing. trying out a new um, retinol cream and it's making some of my skin, I've got to the, the skin flaking stage of when you start using retinols and I've got, I've, hopefully you can't see it, I've got a little crease right there skin that's getting ready to peel up on me this evening great you didn't need to know that but this is me, I overshare. So, this is a beautiful, beautiful blue. And you can see, I mean, that's this is a fluffy brush. This is not a packer brush. This is a fluffy brush that I'm applying this to the lid with. And look at the intensity we're getting. I'm just sort of lightly buffing blend it in. I always get more fallout this side because um, where this eye got pulled around the skin on this eyelid is a lot more mobile shall we say than the skin on my other eye but as I said I do my base afterwards anyway and I'm not going to do foundation today I'm just going to do concealer so it's not a problem. I'm going to go back in with that uh, M321 that I used initially and I'm going to go into Screwdriver Gorgeous yellow and I'm just going to pop this right on the inner corner so blending up into that green the lemon mint that I used no, it's not. It's the apple cider. And 
and also just lightly blending it into where it meets blue mojito. Oh, this is pretty. So this is me. I just I just play with colour. I'm. I do have to stretch this lid out though because of that deep creasing. Do not do this if you don't already have deep creasing. That's my turning the gold kids off for us, can you tell? Oh wow, just look at the intensity of that yellow. I've got very citrusy, haven't I? Hmm. Right, as I'm not doing foundation, I'm just going to show you what I do concealer wise. Because normally I'd pause you now and put foundation and everything on. I'm just going to show you what I do concealer wise, and then I'll pause you while I do bronzer and blush, etc. I think I'll use the Magic Star in shade C3. My star is still intact. I know a lot of people have problems with theirs coming off. Well, I'm just going to put a few dots of it along there like that. You do not need to do ruddy great triangles at all. It's just not necessary. It's a waste of product and if you're over 22 it just cakes up, looks horrible and makes you look older than you are. Right, I'm going to get a flat foundation brush and I buff out the little dimple here because you always get a deep bit there even if you don't have dark circles you will get a deep bit there just where your eye meets your nails and then I just pat, tap and blend basically Just drag the edges out to blend in. Oh, that's good time. And to be honest, most times during the summer months when it's hot, if I go out, this is all I do. I don't do foundation. I just do concealer here, which I set with Coty Air Spun. And then just bronze blush, highlight, etc. But I'm now going to pause you while I do my bronze and my blush and my brows, and I'll be back to finish off this eye look. I am back, and I decided for my brows to pick up on this blue mojito shade, and I've used the Revolution pigment pomade in. Trendy Turquoise. I've got quite a few of their coloured ones now. Um, I've got the Trendy Turquoise. I've got uh, Medium Brown, which was actually the first one I got because I didn't do colours until hmm, not, not until recently, to be honest. Uh, I've got the Burgundy Red. And then these other two you would have seen quite a bit on my channel. This is the Ocean Blue, but it was the wrong shade of blue compared to what I'd used on my lid here. And my favourite of all of them, Royal Purple. I've also got a Colourpop Gel Liner in, uh, what's it called? Punch, which is the yellow, which um, I tend to use. Uh, with my brows rather than as a liner because my eyes are so watery but it's great for mixing in with the blues and getting some greens now back to ba -ba -ba. and I'm going to grab that flat top brush that I showed you earlier and I'm going to go into Tequila Sunrise And I'm going to pop that right in the middle bit of my lower lash line. 
Yes, I always flinch this side. Because uh, I have no peripheral vision that side, obviously being blind in that eye. Clean that off. And I'm going to go into frozen sangria. For the outer edge. Frozen sangria? Yeah, frozen sangria. It's a lovely sort of burnt orange. Almost like a pumpkin orange. In the brush. And then I'm going to go into Coral Oasis for the front section because I feel like it. Let's build that up a little bit more. Bring it down a bit so it matches the others. Normally I'll then use, normally I just use one shade under my eye um, and then buff it out with another colour. But today I felt like doing something a wee bit different. I like that. I feel like one of those exotic parrots that you see in, in various places and I'm going to grab this is a lip brush that I bought off of eBay about 10 years ago but I love it I'm just going to go into the frozen Moscow just to put a little bit of white in the inner corner here I am going to go over it with a highlighter, but I just wanted to see just how pigmented this white actually is, and it's really nice. Because all too often whites, particularly on my skin tone, don't show up at all, or they do when I stamp them on, when I start to blend them like I am now, they just disappear. But you can see this one. It's going nowhere. Ooh. I might try popping a little bit of that up under the tail of my brow, actually. Again, I normally use a highlight here, and there's a damn good chance I will actually go over it with a highlight, simply because I prefer how that looks on me. But for those of you who do like using matte, shades you can see you can absolutely get <clears throat> that white built up that is so pretty mm, I like that right now do you know what I might actually leave those like that and not put a highlighter on over the top this is most unusual for me. Um, right, let's go in with my setting spray. I'm just going to zoom you out a bit. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Gerard Slay All Day in Coconut, as always. Flip the fan off so it doesn't actually blow it away from my face. Oh, I went a bit ham with the uh, blush, didn't I? Let me sort that out. If you do go a bit ham with your, br your blush, I'm actually going in, this is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Light in Dim Light. But you can get exactly the same thing with this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer, allegedly. I wouldn't even bronze a snowman. Or if you haven't got either of these, you can just use a translucent powder. Just to buff over the top. I forgot, I put my usual amount on as if I'd 
got rid of my natural colour underneath with foundation and completely forgot myself. Why is that making me pinker? This does not make me pink. This is confusing. Have I got pink on this brush or something? No. Look like I've got a bad sunburn. Let me grab my coachy yes, mum. Let's just see if I can um rectify things. Maybe it's just because I'm getting hot. Could be. Well, I think that's helped a bit. <sighs> right. Gerard Cosmetics, Slay All Day, Coconut. Most people would stop here. I'm not most people. I'm a little bit extra and I like a little bit extra. It's also serving to cool me down a bit. Oh yeah, and I think this is going, it must have been where I was getting hot. Um, again, yes I have a code for Gerard, that one is affiliated linked in the description box with all the others. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Waterbrat. Now I love this. I know it looks like a really deep pink. I know what you're thinking. Whoa, Nelly! You've just got rid of all the pink. Yeah. But when this goes on, it kind of... You don't really see the pink. You just get... Gorgeous, glittery, wet look shimmer. See? Beautiful. I am definitely looking very pink. I'm going to pause you and I'll take this bronze and blush off and I'm going to come back when I've sorted it out because I am ridiculously pink right now, which is crazy. Uh, back in a mo. Right, took it all off, put my bronzer black on, black on, back on and just did the highlight. I skipped the blush because apparently when well, I'm getting hot and bothered today I'm going very pink. Okie dokie. Just going to pop a bit of mascara on. I'm going in my Catrice Glamondol Volume Waterproof Mascara. I love this. It is an absolute bang on dupe for Benefit Bad Girl Bang. But it's less expensive. And it's waterproof, which when you have ridiculously watery eyes, thanks to fibro, and it's hay fever season, waterproof is the way to go. I discovered this when my YouTube wifey Nikki Raven mentioned it because it's um, it's a brand you could get easier in Europe than you can here. But I have my YouTube daughter Chelsea. I have a, a YouTube wife, two YouTube mistresses, and a YouTube daughter. By the way, I haven't got a YouTube husband yet. Working on that one. Um. Although as Dustin Daly's in my notification squad, I might claim him as my YouTube husband. Because I absolutely plopped when he commented on one of my videos, notification crew. I was like, oh, 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 oh.
So, I am married and he's in a relationship, so... I'm sure he won't mind. Do you mind, Dustin? Um, yeah, Chelsea, my YouTube daughter, finally found somewhere for me in the UK. It stops it, so I haven't got to keep importing it, which is great, because with Brexit coming... <clears throat> don't get me started on that. Right, now this lipstick... This is something very new to my channel. This is from ASMR Artistry. And it comes in... This pot and take the sticky label off. It's a very textured, so it's great for you know all your ASMR tapping and stuff. And it's got this. This is actually a necklace that you can actually take off and wear. When you opened it up, there was this little thing, which when you opened it, one of the they, they got like a. Um, a contraption that was like a butterfly with an elastic band, it sort of fluttered off and to be honest it damn near gave me a heart attack and it flew out. Um, this is just a little thank you card. They actually sent me this for free. Um, they messaged me, they'd seen one of my films, so obviously I tagged this as ASMR because I've been told my voice is so relaxing. Um, I tagged these, there's two things of popping candy mixed taste. I'm guessing this one's citrusy and this one's berry -y. For those of you who are into an ASMR. Um, they've got two colours available on their website at the moment. They've got, and this is reached again, and it's metallic. Or magnetic, rather. ASMR artistry. Yeah, they messaged me on Insta saying, um, we've seen your channel, we'd love to send you a lipstick to see what you think of it. And I'm like, okay, because obviously mine's not your traditional ASMR, I guess. You know, I don't do the whispering and all the tappings and stuff. Um, yeah, so they messaged me, and I'm like, is this legit? Is, you know, I'm never quite sure. They, they said, Life with Mac, Ocean and Southern Sounds are just some of the ASM artists who have loved it. Um, hey Bomber 1313, because that's my tag on Insta. Is it okay to send you an ASM artistry one? You may have already seen a lipstick going around, we'd love to give you one. If you'd like to know more, feel free to reply and I'll be happy to explain. And they gave me a link to their website. Um, and their website explains you, you can choose rouge or nude. I went for the nude one. With an option of sensation of none, cool or warm. Oh, that was interesting. Um, and their website says, do you find yourself spending too much time trying to activate your ASMR tingles by constantly seeking out your favourite triggers, sifting through hundreds of videos and taking the fun out of the experience? Um, even worse, has your constant ASMR video viewing left you with immunity to feeling the tingles? Or have you found yourself in stressful situations at work or a social setting when you cannot watch an ASMR video to call, calm down? Um, this AM Artistry 1 is the world's first ASMR inspired lipstick that gives you a unique innovative way of triggering those tingles by applying your makeup. Um, it was showing up as £33 on their website, marked down to 21 And I'm like, that's a little bit steep for a lippy. But, you know, I've paid more. Hourglass. Um, and it's saying that the touch, they've got the warming, comforting sensation that caresses you with moisturising ingredients designed to soothe even the driest, chappest lips. Um, those who prefer cool lips also have a choice and for no sensation at all we have you covered. Smell naturally perfumed with soothing vanilla scent evoking the sense of comfort and serenity. Um, the case being deeply engraved and highly embossed is hypnotic and adds another layer of pleasing tactile sensation. 
Sprinkled glitter creates a mesmerising show of light but does not rub off on the lips when applied. We can test that in a moment. And then sound, tapping, scratching, rolling, rubbing, opening and closing the magnetic lid, etc. Um, so I replied back to them and I'm like, okay, I'm prepared to review the lipstick, however, I always give an honest review. Are you okay with this or do you have specific parameters you require? You'll definitely like our products. To be honest, our lipstick is more like your praise. Which I guess means our lipstick is more likely to obtain your praise. But, so there was, there was no requirement on me to do a review if I didn't want to. And doing a review, there is no requirement of me to say I like it if I don't. Or... Um, Sorry folks, I'm struggling today paint-wise. Or, um, you know, say specific things. So, really is pretty. It does smell... It doesn't smell like vanilla to me though. But it is quite a nice smell. So... Let's try this out, shall we? Mm. It's very creamy. You can see that that applied so easily. And yep, the glitter has not come off on my lips. So that is good. Um, oh, oh, okay, I'm starting to get the cool tingling feeling now. It's quite nice actually. So, do I like it? I like the colour. It certainly feels nice and creamy going on. Um, and the tingling is quite nice. Would I pay 21 quid for it though? That I don't know yet. Yet. Um, I'm going out later, so I'll take this with me and just see how it feels on the night out. Um, and I will report back to you what I think of it. And at the bottom it does say nude cool vanilla. So I'm guessing at some stage they may be introducing different scents possibly. Which is why that one, honestly, Coty Airspun, I swear, gets every blooming wear. <sighs> but this is my first look with Slush 2. And I'm loving this. I can see this is fast going to become a staple like the original Slush was. So. I hope you enjoyed this look, even if I did um, have a bit of a moment with my natural flashed skin tone coming through and making me look a little bit like Coco the Clown. Um, absolutely love this. This is $24.99 on her website. It's obviously 10% discount if you use my code. She has, I believe, got a bundle deal on if you buy Slush 1 and 2 together. And Brew is also on there. I believe Brew is $19.99 last time I checked. Um, I have been using the sponge that she sent me. And I really like this. Um, it's, it's soft enough when I'm having a bad fibro day that it doesn't hurt my skin. But it's not too soft that it soaks up. A lot of the product. Really nice and I love that flat edge coming up to the point because it makes it so easy to get in underneath your eyes and blend your concealer and stuff out. So, so far, love this. Very, very positive results. I will of course continue to use it. Um, I'll probably be taking advantage of using this in photo inspiration 
uh, films in future as well. If there's a specific, um, just put this back in its case. Let me take it back again. If there is a specific colour on here you want to see me use in a tutorial, let me know. If you want to see me combine, I've got a request to do a yellow and a purple look together. I have already got one of those on my channel at the moment where I did a yellow look with purple liner and lashes. Um, but what I'm going to do, I've got the uh -huh, honey. And I've also, I've just got the, ow, 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 don't stretch me in pain, Angel. It's my pleasure. So what I'm probably going to do is, when I review It's My Pleasure, I'll use it with Aha Honey and do the yellow and purple look. So you don't need to request that one again. But if there is a specific colour combination you want to see me do with this palette, let me know. Uh, keep an eye out as to what I think of this, because if I like it, you're going to see it appearing in videos again. If I don't, you won't. But, I must admit, this actually would be quite good for my anxiety, because I can... I've got a couple of the... some of the, the new Oh My Glitters are magnetic. And I do find myself playing with these and just... Um, and I've also got a magnetic one. I, I sit there like this if I'm stressed. So that's really, really that. This will actually help with my anxiety. And the fact it's got the ridging on it, and I can just sort of like run my nail up and down it like a like a washboard thing. Um, I'll let you know how I get on with this. That's it's interesting. I'm reserving judgment. It's still tingling, by the way. It, it's. Still tingling, but it's not unpleasant. It's actually quite. It's quite. It's like when. You know when you've had a curry, or something spicy, and then your lips are still tingling when you finished eating, but it's a nice sensation. It's not a, not a painful one. That's what I'm getting from that. So I, I like that. It's not like some of the lip plumpers. Oh, it doesn't claim to lip plump. It just says it has a a warming or a cooling sensation. It doesn't appear to be making my lips look any larger than they normally are. Um, it's really creamy though, it's very very soft. I like that. But uh, yes, if you start seeing this in um, more films you'll find out that I do like it. And if you don't, then you know that I don't. Right. That is quite enough from me for one day. Um, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing people, which is highly annoying and frustrating, as opposed to highly Gabra Selassie, who is the athlete. Highly Selassie was a politician. Slight difference, but very similar names. So, hence the confusion. Um, hmm. Yes, please double check you are still subscribed. I keep looking at myself because I'm just loving the way these colours are blending. Um, and I'm being a bit of a tart, to be quite frank. So, I have a lot of other films you can go and watch. Um, I will try and remember to link the Brew film, because I did mention that in the description box, but if not, if you just go to my channel and search for September Rose, it should bring up all the ones with slush and the ones that I've done with brew. Okay, so all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.